Good evening. Um, we're very thrilled to be here and honored. Um, I'm Master Sergeant Jennifer Wheeler, I'm stationed at Alchus Air Force Base in Oklahoma. Is that one person? <laughs> well, I know that um, there's one, another person, I think, in the room, maybe, Mr. Leverett. Um, I have 23 years of, of service, and um, I'm a single mom. I have two great kids, and one of which is standing here beside me now. Hello. It's great to see you all. My name is Dylan Mo Scott Mobley. I am 20 years old, and I am currently studying at Oklahoma City University in the Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in acting. We are very honored to be here tonight and speak with all of you, most distinguished guests, and to talk about our experience in receiving the General Arnold Education Grant from the Air Force Aid Society. Many of you in the room tonight uh, most likely remember the Montgomery GI Bill, and that's what I received when I entered the Air Force in 1991. I pursued my undergraduate degree on active duty using a combination of the tuition assistance and a program called Top Up, which was the Montgomery GI Bill. And I, I went on to get my graduate degree and needed to use more of my Montgomery GI Bill. So you're probably thinking, uh, what does this have to do with the Air Force aid grant that my son received? Well, I'll tell you. Um, the Montgomery GI Bill was converted to become the new post 9-11 GI Bill, and it made it easy for service members to transfer entitlements to their children which I soon did. Um, but having used up a lot of mine already on my own education, I was able, only able to transfer what was left of my GI Bill to my children. So once everything settled, I soon realized that there was two things. One, the cost of college tuition had skyrocketed ever since I went to college. And number two, that the post 9-11 GI Bill split between Dylan and his sister, Julianne, was not going to be enough to pay for four years or eight years of college. So I thought to myself, well, how am I gonna pay how am I going to pay for this? So we started looking at resources. So since we, basically when we discovered that the GI Bill wasn't enough to cover everything, we had to look for other ways of paying for my tuition. Now, having been through personal finance class, I've noticed that I do not want to use student loans, because that is the best way to start off from graduation in debt. So I was very adamant about not using that. <clears throat> um, so when I looked around, I mean, I've, we found the Air Force Aid Society's grant online, and I had already looked at a couple of universities, but the problem ma mainly was it always came down to cost. My first choice of school was obviously the most expensive, but we went ahead and applied for the Air Force Aid Society grant, and luckily we got it. I was very lucky to receive the $2,200 scholarship that I now have, and it made a huge difference. So now I'm closing out my freshman year in Oklahoma City University. I am now a pledge in Phi Gamma Delta, Fiji, if it had not been for the Air Force Aid Society and the amazing, I would never have the amazing experiences I had, never the fond memories that I have right now. So from the very bottom of my heart, to every one of you, thank you very much for your kindness and your generosity. I apologize for the speech. My son spilled a glass of water on me um, a few minutes ago. Um, but I would also like to close with saying thank you to the Society for helping me and allowing my son to pursue his academic dreams. Um, the Air Force Aid Society and the educational grants that you guys offer hundreds of children and families like mine throughout the Air Force. It, it's truly a wonderful charity, and it gives directly back to airmen like myself. Um, but all this wouldn't be possible without the support of the people in the room. Um, tonight. Please think of me and my son and the other recipients of the General Arnold Education Grant uh, when you make your choice to give, and uh, we ask that you give generously. Uh, without your support, these grants wouldn't exist. So thank you, and have a wonderful evening.